It was after school on October 27, 1989, when 10-year-old Amy Mihaljevic vanished from Bay Square Shopping Center in Bay Village. Yeah, that's never easy. That day is forever etched in the mind of her dad, Mark Mihaljevic. Came in the house and uh, oh, Margaret uh, hmm. frantically was saying, Amy's not here, Amy's not here. That was the beginning of heartbreak for Amy's family and the beginning of a story that still grips this community today. Police would learn that a mysterious man called Amy on the phone told her he wanted to take her shopping to buy a gift for her mom, who had just received a promotion at work. Amy agreed and would never be seen alive again. Her body spotted in a rural Ashland County field by a jogger. But now a fresh set of eyes are looking at this case. FBI Special Agent Lisa Hack took it over about six months ago. This is a very remote area. Um, you can see in either direction very far from where the body was recovered. And, uh, to, you know, Bay Village is, you know, an hour away from here. So we think it's somebody that was very familiar with the area. Bay Village Police Chief Mark Spetzel was a relatively new officer when Amy disappeared. Mark Spetzel gave a, a talk to Amy's class, what to do and how to react when strangers approach you that day. It is a case that has followed him from that day on. Still today, a picture of the little girl sits in his office. It's just the nature of this type of crime. When you have an innocent child who's taken, abducted, and murdered, it's hard to let go. Police say they will not let it go. There have been more than 20,000 leads, tens of thousands of interviews, and now a new push to get this solved. One of my best friends that came over to the house that night, I mean, they actually came to his house with three FBI agents, uh, squads or whatever, uh, wanting DNA from him. They're, in the process of totally eliminating anything that they can just wipe off their books and not concentrate on. There is new information. There was DNA recovered at the scene and within the last six months, it has been submitted again for testing. I think there's information out there that certain people have, if they were to bring that forth to us, will result in us finding out who did this. Police are now focusing on several things, including the phone call the killer made to Amy. Two similar calls were made to area girls around the same time Amy disappeared. And then the call that Amy made to her mother while she was with the man who would soon kill her. Amy knew that she needed to call her mom to tell her that she had gotten home. So Amy called her mother at work and told her mother that she was at home when in fact she wasn't because Probably at that time, Amy thought that she was still gone shopping for a mama present. We're focusing on the fact that we think it was somebody who was f very familiar with the family and the dynamics of the family. Any talk or obsession with the case, you, um, you think about um, behaviors that would lead somebody to this, maybe they had an interest in young girls for whatever reason. We think it's solvable. We think it's somebody that was familiar with with her and the family, obviously, and with both locations. A lot has changed for Mark Mihaljevic since that day that changed his life. He and Margaret divorced. She later died. Mark remarried. But one thing remains the same, the questions. What would the grandkids look like or what would Amy be doing or whatever? You know, those, those are questions that will never be answered. The FBI, the Bay Village Police Department, and Mark Mihaljevic all believe this case can be solved. Mark Mihaljevic says he hopes he lives long enough to see his daughter's killer caught. Anyone with information should call the FBI at 216-522-1400. Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.